So one of the most underrated aspects of iOS 26 and the update and the new features is that the wallet app actually got revamped and got so much better. And as an application that I use almost on a daily basis, I got to talk about these upgrades with you. Let's get into it. But now before we continue, definitely consider subscribing to the channel because it helps motivate us to make more videos like this one and get this information out to you in a timely manner. But now let's get into the first feature, which has to be the new live activities and boarding passes. So we have been able to have digital boarding passes for years now, and it's made it more efficient to go through the airport and not have to waste paper and things of that nature. But now we're getting two big updates to the boarding passes. First and foremost is gonna be live activities. So live activities will work based on your boarding pass. Of course, it's gonna be on a per app basis, depending on which airline uses it and things like that. But now it is a feature and an API that's open for people like United and American Airlines and JetBlue to jump in there and give us live activities to know when our flight is leaving on a bunch of different occasions. So first we'll know if it's on time, then we'll know when they're boarding and when last boarding call is, and you'll be able to then eventually board your plane and see the live activity. But then also you're able to share that with your friends so your friends can track you with based on a live activity and it's even integrated into carplay so if you have your phone and you're tracking somebody with live activities it'll then be a live activity in carplay as well all based through the wallet application and then you'll be able to also have a bunch more information so for example there'll be maps built in the boarding pass itself so you'll be able to see what gate you're in how to get to that gate you'll be able to find some more information like baggage claim your departure countdown so I know that there's some applications that already kind of map out the actual airport themselves. Even I think United's application does that built in, but now it'll be just easier to access and it'll be a lot more in your face and more native because it's in the wallet app in a boarding pass that's living right on your iPhone. So now the next one's gonna have to do with IDs. Now, again, I'm somebody who has been wanting IDs on my iPhone for years and we are getting closer and closer, but it's been a very slow rollout. I believe there's less than 10 states right now that support IDs on your iPhone. I'm in New Jersey, my state does not support that. Hopefully it will one day. But one thing that they are adding is going to be passport support as well. So you'll be able to add your US passport to your wallet on iOS 26 and you can use it at TSA checkpoints, supported applications and other places that do require ID. Again, this is going to be on a per airport kind of rollout in terms of support. Not every airport is going to support this. Not every TSA agent or TSA provider is going to support this. But it is nice to know that you can put it in there, especially as a fail safe, just in case you are in a situation where you need your passport. Maybe you don't have it. You can kind of at least digitally show it to somebody if you need to. So that's always a great addition to be able to add even more information onto your iPhone. Again, it will be encrypted and it will be safely placed on your iPhone. So you don't have to worry about your information being leaked but it is nice to know that your passport can now be added in that same kind of ID spec on your wallet. So now the next big feature is going to be order tracking. Now order tracking in the wallet application was promised to us, I think two or three years ago. And I think in those two or three years, I've gotten two things to work, which is kind of insane because I get packages all the time. And the fact that I can't track them through the native tracker is kind of annoying, but now Apple intelligence is kind of stepping in here. And again, this is an example of how Apple intelligence will be working in the background, but basically it's gonna be able to go into your mail. It's gonna be able to read all your shipping information and it's not gonna rely on the third party kind of tying into the API, of order tracking. So you'll be able to now track most of your packages, if not all of them, seamlessly without having to actually do anything and not having a supported application because Apple will be able to see tracking information, tracking number, the provider that's being shipping to you, and it'll all be put into your wallet app with a beautiful, nice little UI to make sure that you're getting everything and getting everything on time. So that built into the wallet app is something that it's very welcome. So now this next one is a big one for me because I cannot tell you the amount of times that I've been in a situation where I need my credit card number and my wallet is either all the way downstairs, my wallet's in the car and I'm at my computer and it would just take me five minutes to get my wallet to get my credit card number. And as of right now, the only card that you could do that with is your Apple card. So if you have your Apple card in your wallet, you can go in there look at all your credit card information and then put in your credit card number. But now they're adding support to add credit card details on all of your non-Apple card credit cards or even debit cards. Again, you're gonna have to do this manually, so you do have to put it in every single time, but you can now store your card number, your expiration date, your security code. It's gonna work natively in the wallet application and no third-party apps are needed, and it'll be accessible via Face ID and Touch ID, so it will always be protected even after you do put in the information yourself. This is something that I'm gonna be using a ton. I'm gonna put my main credit cards in here so I'm able to then go back and look at them at all times. And it's very easy to do and very easy to access, very similar to maybe the passwords application on the iPhone, but now it's gonna be all your credit card information in the wallet application on a per card basis that's in your Apple wallet. The card does need to be integrated into the Apple wallet already and set up for Apple Pay. And then you can go into that credit card settings in the Apple wallet to add all the credit card information. 
And I'm going to mention this, but I absolutely hate this, this buy now, pay later stuff. Apple did discontinue their own version of it. I don't know if you remember about two years ago, they said that they were going to have a native version of like Afterpay and Affirm, and they discontinued it themselves, but they did partner with Affirm to offer this directly through the Apple wallet. Again, I'm very against the buy now, pay later stuff. I would recommend holding off on that and never doing that because it's going to end up digging most people in a hole. But Apple is partnered with Affirm and it is now a native part of checking out if you are checking out with your Apple wallet or Apple Pay. So it is an option if that's something that people want to take advantage of. And then you do get a little bit more customization in terms of privacy when it comes to offers. So you can disable all offers moving forward and promotions. So there's a new toggle in the wallet app where you can disable offers as well as promotional notifications. I actually like to keep these turned on because I like to know if the Apple Card is getting some sort of new sign-up bonus or referral bonus, or maybe I'm getting 5x back at certain places that I wouldn't normally get 5x back. So I like to leave those turned on for now, but it is nice to know that you can turn them off, especially when Apple had that fiasco where they promoted the F1 movie through the wallet app. So that's everything new with the wallet application. It's all things that are gonna be net positives except for the Affirm thing. Again, very against that. But the new boarding passes, the live activities, the more intelligent tracking of all your packages, all things that I love about the wallet app because I think the wallet app is one of those underrated applications that not a lot of people know are, is even being used. I mean, Apple Pay is one of the most powerful things. You have the Apple Card, you have Apple Cash, you have the savings account. There's a bunch of different things that you can do in the Apple wallet, which not a lot of people take advantage of. And I might redo a video that is probably one of our most viewed videos, which is a complete walkthrough of Apple Wallet because there's so many new features. But that'll do it for this video. Let me know in the comment down below what you think. If you made it to the end, leave a little dolphin. And if you want to watch more videos like this one, definitely check out one of these videos right here. Until next time, I'm Fernando. Peace, everyone.